welcome to this, which is a new Prison Architect series, and this is going to be playing through the um, Alpha 26, which is the October 2014 uh, Alpha, and this is a big bug fix one. Um, so there's been quite a few fixes that have made the game a little bit better. Um, but I'm, I've or you may have already noticed in the background I have some planning down already, and that's because I kind of decided that. Well, I was about to record all the planning for this prison, but I kind of thought it'd be a bit too boring to watch. I'm um, just putting down some of the basic grids I always kind of do. Um, but I've just put down some of where my cells are going to go, just so I kind of have a basic idea of what, where everything's going to go. I've also just put down a cross, kind of split equally down the middle, although this one's a little bit offset. And put down deliveries, garbage exports and storage, so that's also kind of symmetrical and neat. Um, but I haven't actually put anything down to be built. Um, but, yeah, uh, so hopefully we're going to get a good prison going. Now, Alpha 25, which was the previous Alpha, they added quite a lot of interesting things, which is the behaviour of prisoners. And that kind of meant that prisoners now, instead of just doing what you tell them to do, and occasionally, if you don't treat them nicely, having a little bit of a moment and getting a bit angry. Now they will just do that by themselves. They will just randomly have little arguing moments where they'll go a bit crazy. Um, so it gets a bit more interesting. Um, now, something that I always do on every prison is I always have trees, and there's not much of a reason for this because I end up getting rid of them anyway. Um, but what I'll do is I'll just mark all these trees to be dismantled. And what you can then do is sell all those afterwards which means you get a little bit of extra money um, just to get you going. So I'll just set that off. When you do this, always make sure you have a little exports area because then they'll automatically take that, um, take the wood to that export area once they've chopped it down. Um, so it's a little tip. Um, I never really like having lakes because lakes are always awkward to build around. They never really look very natural either. They always look a little bit odd. Um, but I am going to put down a couple of things, so I'm going to obviously put down some foundations, but before I do any of that, I'm going to go and get a grant for the basic detention centre. So, now I know, I have a little list of what I actually need to be doing. Um, also, another thing I haven't done is turn off prison intake. Um, now, I will actually be having medium or normal security prisoners. Um, it's not really worth going for minimum unless you're just starting out in the game and you really don't want any difficulty whatsoever uh, but you will notice that it's a little bit odd playing because you don't really make much money from the minimum security so normal is just about right it's a good balance um, so you can see all my wood is now being exported so that's why I do that um, okay so I'm going to pop down some foundations for some of these buildings I've just planned these out in a kind of fairly simple way and hopefully it should be quite a kind of nice looking prison when it's done. I always try and make things look nice just because it makes a difference. If you make a prison that's kind of all over the place and a bit crap looking, then it's going de like, to be detrimental to your gameplay. You're going to kind of get bored of your prison and it's not going to look nice. And if something looks nice and works well, that's really good. Because um, Prison Architect, in a sense, if you make it very like in an organised way, it actually works slightly better. Having things all over the place doesn't really help you in any way. So it's worth kind of building things properly. Also makes it kind of good in the sense that it looks a bit more like a proper prison because not many prisons are just bit bits of building all over the place. They're all kind of laid out in a kind of proper way that makes it kind of more secure. Now something I have noticed kind of with putting cells around the outside is that you will obviously get people escaping or trying to escape by digging holes. But hopefully we're not going to have too much of that. And if we do, oh well, it should. We all will find a way of combating that, I think. So we're getting this put down. Now the cells are quite a, quite a while away from the entrance. So the entrance to my prison, I'm going to have a big wall around the outside. Um, hopefully so they can't get out. But they probably will at some point get out. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to put down a big fence. Or well, probably a brick wall, actually, because it will look a little bit better. Um, but, I'll pop down some of the other 
planning for stuff. I have a little picture drawn out on the piece of paper in front of me, so I can't really show you that. Um, but I've just got a little rough idea. I've just drawn a little grid of layout of what I want to do. So up here, I kind of planned on having a yard type thing. And I'll just measure out that so I know how big it is. 25, so that'll be the middle. That's 12. That's 12. So that's that can be a yard. Um, and this is... 22, so those would be the middle. So that's 10 and 10. And that kind of looks a bit ugly, so I'm going to chop that off for a bit. And I shortened the cells to that. I extended them even. Now I'll leave it what it is. I'll just figure it out. I'll probably put doors on the corner somewhere. Yeah, I could just do that. Have double doors. There. I never really plan out the intricate parts of things. It kind of stops it being fun. Okay, so we've got one of our foundations down. And I'll just get a jail door. Pop that on there. And this is one thing. I don't know whether they're ever going to fix this as a bug. Um, but it's not really a bug, it's just I think there should be an option to disable this, which is whenever you put down a building, it gives you light automatically. And I always like to add them in myself afterwards. I think here and here we're missing a square. Probably will get put in, I hope. There you go. Is that going to go into a foundation? There you go. So now I'll pause it straight away, and you can use spacebar for that. I only recently found out that you can use spacebar. Um, so I'll just pause it so they don't actually put any lights in, and then I'll put them down myself afterwards. So I think these foundations have gone in as well. So I'll just pop down another jail door there, and I'll get ready to do the same for that. Sorry about that. Got a little bit of a cough. Let's wait for these foundations. There you go. What was that? Get rid of all those. So I'll just put down a little brick wall down there just to cut that bit off. And I will actually put down some walls around here. Now, this is a very tedious progress until you unlock. I'm going to leave that bottom actually. It's a very tedious process putting down all of these until you get right to the end of. Well, not the end. Until you get to a certain stage in the research. And speaking of research, I'm actually going to now put down some of my offices. Now, I'm going to have a yard over here. Probably something like common room and maybe some other buildings down over here in a kind of similar pattern. So put down a little wall there. And I think a workshop up here probably. Now I'll just put that down there for the moment and I'll put the same thing up here. But I probably won't have it that size because a workshop over a certain size is completely ineffective. Uh, it doesn't add in any more rooms. So, we'll leave that just as temporary kind of thing. But I think I'm going to have the offices in a little kind of block here. So office is 5 by... well, is it 5 by 5? No, it's 6 by 6. So I need to do 6 by 6 to have one office. And that's those. But if I get rid of that, put in that line, I can just check if this will fit nicely-ish. So no, it doesn't really fit down there. So I'll get rid of that, put that one in. Pop some more offices down here. Now, I again, I have lots of little systems for different things in this game. So quite a lot of the time I'll follow the same kind of pattern. And what I'm probably going to do is have six offices, which is enough. I should have one for 
warden, chief, foreman, psychologist, and accountant, and that's that should be enough. Um, then I've got one spare, which I'm not really sure what I'll end up doing with. I don't know. I could have it as a security room. Is probably what I'll end up doing. And then down here at the bottom, I'll probably have a staff room, so it means all my staff can just pop straight in there. Um, but I need to pop this down fairly quickly, so I'll just pop that down straight away. I keep saying pop things down. Um, and once that's gone down, I can get a warden. I can get a warden anyway. Um, I want to get a large tail door and pop that down there. As soon as that's gone down, I want to stop the lights. Just so we don't get the annoying lighting. And. Then I'm going to put in a wall up here. And I can put a staff door on these. and a normal door on one of them, and that's going to be my psychologist office. Um, so, I can just find the office, put that down, and that should go to Warden's office? Maybe not, I need to put stuff in it first. So I'll just put in his stuff. And I'll put in a couple more things. Uh, just so we've got them if we need them. And I think we also need a filing cabinet, so I'll put one of those in each of the corners. Now, something I haven't actually done yet is put any utilities down. Um, and I probably need to do that fairly quickly. Um, just because obviously we want to have stuff. Now, I'll just go to planning and kind of put that down. So. Hmm. We want to have stuff around it, so I'm wondering whether to put it somewhere. Do I have enough space up here? Um, probably. A bit awkward though. I could, I can move it, I suppose. So for the moment, I think I'm going to go and put. Power station down there. And water station down there. Now I always make sure you put on a couple of capacitors before you do anything with a power station because otherwise if it turns on and then everything turns off it gets a bit annoying. But I'll also just go and get a cable and run that all the way through my whole prison. All the way to the end. I'm actually going to do the same with water. Get rid of that random cable. Okay, so my warden should be there, so I can now start research. So, the main things I want is this clone tool, so I'm going to put that down. However, if I go and look at grants, if you click on Administration Center, you need to build two offices and an accountant. So if I get Finance, Input Bureaucracy, I get Finance first, and then I can get that on its way, and then I can get Maintenance as well. And that should give us a bit more money, plus we get the Clone Tool afterwards. The clone Tool would just mean when we're putting down things like cells, it means we can do it millions of times faster. cable down uh, in there. Okay, so we've kind of put down some of the foundations for stuff. We've just put down the offices, which is kind of getting there. It's almost done. Um, well, it's not done at all. 
put we've got the fund we've got the kind of basic office block laid down. We've also got our cell blocks. Well, two of our four cell blocks. I think these are going to be two normal and then we're gonna have maximum and maximum. And we might even have another cell block maybe over here for super max and maybe another one opposite that for super not super for the protective custody. Um but I think that's it for this episode, so I'll stop it here and I'll just hopefully see you in the next episode. So thanks for watching and see you next time. Goodbye.